Hello. First, enable allow scripts to write files and access network in preferences in the section scripting and expressions and restart your AE. Then insert the script in the script UI panels folder of your After Effects version and open the application. The script you can find at window and select the text to 3D Flipboard script. You can embed the script panel into any program window, wherever it is most convenient for you. Before running the script, select your text and click the Run Script button. The script menu is extensive and has many parameters that you can use before creating a board. We will discuss some of them later, and I will show you the results of selecting different parameters in the menu. For now, let's just create a board with the default parameters. When we play the result, we see the created board with default settings and the animation of flipping cards. Now let's make a new board. Select the layer with your text, click on the Run Script button, but this time I will set a different parameter. Instead of simultaneous, I will select sequential. Let's see the result. As you can see, now the cards are not flipped simultaneously, but one after another. Now I will create a new board and show you another parameter. Here you can select a fixed number of flips for each card or a range of flips. For example, I will set from 3 to 6 rotations, which will be selected randomly for each card to create a little chaos in the flips. And look what happens. Each card has a different number of flips. In some cards, the animation ends earlier and in others, later. Let's see how many flips were created for each card. For example, four flips were created for the first card. Here they are, one, two, three, four. Let's go back to the main composition and look at the second card. Five flips were created here. Let's look at the third card. As you can see, only three flips were created here. Let's look at the fourth card and see that as many as six flips were created here. Now I will create a new board and show you another parameter. Until now, each board was created with random initial text, but you can select this option and the initial cards will be blank. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the initial cards are blank, and the first random letters appear only after the first flip in each card, building your final text on the board. But there is also another option for creating a board in which cards will only appear when the flip animation starts. To do this, select the Appear on Start option, and now you will see how it looks. Look, there are no cards at the beginning, and they only appear when the animation starts. This is also a useful option if you want the cards to appear in a beautiful way. Take another look, it's very beautiful. Each card appears only when the flip animation starts. Let me modify our text a little and show you some more interesting options of the script. Until now, each board was created with random initial text, but you can enter the initial text you want yourself. It will look nice if you enter initial text with the same number of letters as in the source text but it's not a problem if you enter initial text that has more fewer letters. The script will add the necessary cards itself and make a smooth transition from the initial text to the source text. So here we see our initial text in the board and how it transitions into our source text, which can also be very useful. Now let's move on to the board settings, which you can change after creating it. A layer is created in the main composition, flipboard controls, Split it and you will see a pseudo effect created for our board with a variety of parameters, where you can change, for example, the spacing along the X or Y axis. Global board size, card width or card height. Text color. Text scale. And this is why I made a small change to the source text in advance. By default, 
Each letter in the cards is simply located exactly in the center of its card, regardless of the size of each letter. But if you select text align bottom then as you can see, the text is aligned along the bottom edge, as in the source text. And if you align the text inside the card as you see fit, using text offset, it will look like text written in a single line. In the animation section, you can change the speed at which the cards rotate. As you can see, each rotation step occurs from the beginning to the end of its composition. But if I change the rotation speed and make it slower, for example, then in the same step composition, the card will only rotate halfway through the composition and will stop, and the next step will begin. For this, there is a rebuild option in the script. Click on this button and the board will be rebuilt. As you can see, the compositions of each step have become longer and now the rotation of each card reaches the end in each step. Also in this animation section, you can change the card bounce parameters, bounce amplitude in degrees, bounce decay, and bounce frequency, but you can change these parameters as you wish to make the card bounce as you like. The next section is style and hinges. Here you can change the color of the cards. Enable the bevel effect and adjust its strength. You can also disable or enable hinges and adjust their size, position, and visibility. You can also adjust the size of the cutout in the cards for the hinges. Gap and divider. Here you can change the size of the gap between the two halves of the card, make it larger, or remove it altogether. You can also enable the divider, adjust its size, and change its color if necessary. In the next section, you can change the edge strip settings, turn them on or off, change their size or position, and change their color if you want. And the last section is for changing the light settings. Change the position of the light, its intensity, and shadow settings. Great, we've looked at all the parameters of the Flipboard Controls layer. And I want to show you another new and very useful option of the script, which is sequential animation of numbers. Let me enter two numbers, for example, 14 and 30, separated by a hyphen. Open the script, select Use Initial Text in its menu, and enter, for example, 08 and 26 as the initial text. Then select Sequential Digit Animation. Start creating the board. So we can see our initial text with the numbers 18 and 26, and let's look at the animation we created. We see that the animation of the cards follows sequentially from 8 to 14 in the first number, and from 26 to 30 in the second number. That is, first the cards with 1's turn, and only then, the cards with 10's. Let's try to create another sequential animation of numbers, for example, with the number 134, and the starting number 148. I will select Sequential Digit Animation and click Create Board. As a result, you can see a sequential animation of numbers from 148 to 134. Thank you for watching. I hope this script will be useful to you.